To write code for any of the Arduino microcontrollers, you only need one piece of software, the Arduino IDE. So let's do an internet search for Arduino download. And you see a few options here. Uh, you can go to the Windows App Store if you're on a Windows machine, uh, or you can go straight to the source, the Arduino software site. That's what I'm going to do here. Scroll down a bit, and because I'm a Windows user, I'm going to use the Windows installer. If you are not an administrator, you might want to choose the Windows zip file option. On the next page, you can contribute to Arduino, give them some money, or just download it, which I'm going to do here. It'll take a few seconds to do that. Now that it's fully downloaded, you can run it or go to the folder, for example, and run it from here. Shouldn't be any bugs here. And choose the uh, license agreement and install all the software. Now note that the IDE will be stored in the C Programs uh, Files x86 folder um, under Arduino. And it'll take a few seconds to install this software. I'm just going to pause the video here until it loads. Now that the software has finished installing, you can close the installer. And let's go look for that piece of software. So under my C drive, Program Files x86, now you see the Arduino folder is here. And I'm looking for the Arduino.exe, the executable. Notice that I have my um, file extension shown here. If you don't know which one is the exe file, you can go to View and then check File Name Extensions, and that shows the, the file name extensions there. To run this, you can simply double-click it, or I think it's a better option if you right-click on the executable and then either pin it to the Start menu or pin it to the taskbar. I prefer the taskbar. It'll show up down here, and so it's ready to go at any time. I don't even have to open that window anymore. I can just run it. It'll take a few seconds to, to open, and this is your, your beginning sketch. We know the software works if you go to Tools, Board, and you'll see that there's a long list of Arduino and LilyPad boards that are available to you. Because I do not have uh, a microcontroller connected to my computer, there is no port available. To learn how to set up your programming port and how to test your first piece of code or sketch, I suggest you watch this video shown here from Patent Robotics. Please subscribe if you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.